Oh, straight left hands up the gut. It's always popular against the southpaw. There's Judo with the straight left hand. Not much happened in the way of damage done with punches. It was a very even and tactical round. Now there are two quick left hooks up top by Floyd Mayweather, and Judah kind of smiles at him. He hasn't thrown any real hard punches. Richard Steele watched closely and carefully and decided nothing happened. The question was whether Mayweather's glove or knees were going to touch the canvas. On a Grand Rapids, Michigan against Carlos Martinez Hernandez. There's a good quick right hook inside by Judah. Left hand to the body, and Judah continues to look upstairs. Can he win a fight doing that for 12 rounds? There's a good quick left hand inside by Zab Judah. Landed it flush on Mayweather's jaw. You don't see that very many times. It was almost like an uppercut. Two good body shots there by Judah. Zab's had a pretty good first two rounds against Floyd Mayweather. And that in right hand. Knockdown. The right yeah, glove definitely the, the touched right, the canvas. The right glove def definitely touched the canvas. Yeah, it, it could have called, called it a knockdown, but I don't know if it would have been a two-point round. And I believe due to... I'm, I'm set to go out there and do well. I have to prove, I have to prove, prove you virtually every time out. Judo with a quick left hand, partially blocked by Floyd Mayweather. The body shots got through, though. That Judo took... Trying to connect on the head of Mayweather. And a good left hook inside by Mayweather, both to the head and to the body. Another little left hook. Now jumping over the top of the left hook. Lands a straight right, slides in the corner. Judo almost took the size of the gloves. Up to one. They both weigh eight ounces. They look like that. Big left hand over the top by Judo. He believes he's got Mayweather hurt. Crowd is going wild. He landed a straight left cross flush. The left-handed land, the left landed is solved yet. It also puts them very close together. Judo over the top with a straight left hand. Sneak that down. one through the guard too. Mayweather scraping Judah to the body from behind almost. Right hand hooked by Zab Judah. He is a five to one underdog. And that That's the land. punch that got the crowd excited, yeah. Of course, he ran into a little bump in the road called George Foreman. There's a straight right hand, plus for Floyd Mayweather. Maybe the first time that he's really hit Judas squarely. Caught him with a plus right hand, hitting less, and as a result, taking more leather. Floyd's definitely mixing up his attack now. He's throwing to the body. And like I said, that right hand is going to be throwing it all night. He's very effective with it. And you're absolutely right. You saw Judah trying the left uppercut after one of the right hands. There's no question that the strategy to try to stop Floyd's right hand is to burn him with uppercuts. Uh, you tell me what he's doing What's now. That? This is just a different style. He's saying, well, what, that, no, what that is, is he's, he's hurt. He's been hit. He's been tagged. And he's trying to give a new look. And it, it doesn't mean a thing. Judah seems almost to be trying to talk Mayweather, and he lands a left hand, and now he's talking to Floyd. And he catches him with a little right hook. Big left hand for Judah, his best punch of the round, and he taunts Mayweather. Here is Mayweather having his best round, landing flush on Judah. Judah looked worried about the punches, but took them. Hey, there's my new best friend. I met Mayweather wasn't bothering to lift his left shoulder in defense of his chin, as he's done so often in the past. In the last couple rounds, he's gone back to that discipline, and that has slowed Judah down just a little bit. Good left foot to the body. Mayweather steps in with a right. Body, body, body. By Judah. That is because Judah shrunk from the media process preceding the fight. Mayweather was relaxed and comfortable enough to spend all the time with the reporters that they wanted. Trying to do in the ring. 57, three rounds apiece. I got it all.
believe it. You know, that tell you something. The guy that gets off first. I think Zab should definitely get off the ropes at this point. You don't really want to make uh, Floyd Mayweather just pick you apart because that's what he's doing. He's just picking his, his spots and taking advantage of him. And there'll be more of it after that big... Judah threw just eight punches in that round, according to Punch Stat, and landed five. That tells you that he is defensive, that Mayweather is starting to get his measure, and that, hey. that Mayweather has in Las Vegas, where he lives in four years. He's, he, he hasn't been able to capture his hometown fans. Maybe he's done it. That was a good body punch by Judah. He's had two or three excellent body punches here, and he landed that left uppercut, and he just missed with a right over the top, and finally he's throwing a lot. Yo, you throw punches at me, I'm hurt him. You throw, I'm tired, I can't yeah. tell you no more. You gotta let your hands go, man. Yo, you gotta get it, you gotta grit down, look at me. You gotta grit down, and like, ah, 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 breathe, ah, ah, ah. One, two, you scared, can't keep your hands right here. You shoot back, you shoot both. The body shot. The body shot is going to shut his ass down. It's going to make him quit. All right? Dig the body. When you get close, dig the body. Then bring the hook back. He don't want no more. He don't want no more. No, the big ready to quit. He's going to quit. He's going to make him quit on the floor. Talk too much. No, he got Uncle Roger talking about that, the body shots. Well, if he believes in his heart that he's fighting the best fighter in the world, Right, 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 and his right is might in that round. Toby Keith, big favorite of yours, right, Larry? Mm-hmm. Love Toby Keith's lyrics. I know you do. And uh, there is Urban Magic Johnson. Urban, of course, is from the threat. And there's a low oh, blow. That was a low blow. By that was a low blow. And Richard Steele pulls that to the off of Floyd Mayweather Jr. And Mayweather is badly hurt by the low blow. And now Roger Mayweather wants to come after Zap. And now Leonard Ellerby wants no Elgin. And a riot is going to break out in the ring. <laughs> Law enforcement authorities in the ring to try to break it up. Bunch of hotheads in there. to the police and local security to try to stop the madness that is going on. Here's the body blow, which was right on the cup. Here's the right hand to the back of the head. And this is per and boxing. Yeah, and, and it's also a street move. If I can't beat you. Roger Mayweather there, that's the reason why Roger Mayweather is going to be disqualified and taken away. And then Yoel Joda. Yoel Judah Judah came, across, came the across and that really ignited it. And that's when Leonard Ellerby, one of Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s advisors, got into it with Yoel Judah. Well, we have just learned. Here it is again. Not enough time. Not enough time to do it. the last 20 seconds of the fight. 109 to the winner by unanimous decision and new champion still undefeated from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Pretty boy, Floyd.